Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Divine Providence Parish, St. Joseph Church, as we come together to celebrate the love that God has given to Daniela and John. I invite you to pray for them and with them at this Mass, which we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we pause for a moment. We call to mind our failings and our faults, those times when we did not love as Jesus teaches us. We ask our God for mercy, for he's filled with gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are the perfect sign of the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you teach us to love one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. And Lord Jesus, you gift us with your Holy Spirit to guide us in the ways of your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God Amen. in the highest and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord. For this celebration, dear brothers and sisters, and now we stand with John and Daniela on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word of God which speaks to us today. Then with the Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father through Christ our Lord for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. And let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union you have created may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Do you have uh, I'll make room. Sucks. No, we'll figure it out. Thanks. They're from the love of my life. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face, the reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad, for he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. Be to God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want in verdant pastures. Oh 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with the glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thank Thanks be to, be God. to God. Please stand. <laughs> Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you. Lord. Jesus, again in reply, spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to the servants, the feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet his guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. It was over two years ago when Daniela and John approached me about having their wedding today. I said, oh, that's a Sunday. And the Archdiocese of Hartford, we have to get permission from the bishop to have a wedding on a Sunday, and we're required to use the Sunday readings. I thought, oh, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday towards the end of the year. And sometimes we get towards the end of the year. It's for the final harvest time. 
Things are about the coming of the end times as we prepare for Advent and Christmas. And so I looked at the readings and said, well, they're not that bad. Yeah, there's some murder here, and there's some people, and their whole city is getting burned and thrown out in the darkness, wailing and grinding of teeth. But other than that, not bad compared to some of the readings that are ahead of us. But the message of the reading, this invitation that's extended to all, come and share the joy of the wedding feast. Two years ago, none of us had an idea that proper wedding attire would include a face covering. None of us had the idea that we'd be limited in who could come and the travel restrictions that we placed on not only our immediate area, but the whole world. But in spite of that, we're here to rejoice and to celebrate, live and in person, or those who are watching the videos, to come together and share the joy of their love. The masks are off for our happy couple. You can see their smiles. And even with the masks on, you can see it in their eyes as they look at one another, and as they look at all of you the friends and family who can come today to share in this joy, to share in this moment. And it's just a moment. Yes, COVID-19 has set some parameters for our celebration, but they don't mark your married life. They're just one of those moments that hopefully years from now you look back on and say, remember all that stuff we had to do? It's just one hour, one hour in a life together. And our readings do give quite a lot of insight into rejoicing in God's goodness. And St. Paul, our second reading today, talks about knowing how to live in abundance, or as we would say in a few moments, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. But to do it, as he says, in Christ Jesus. That's why they're here in this church, not in a park or in a restaurant or in a backyard. They come here in the sight of God and the church community. Physically present, yes, in small numbers, but present with God. Endless, limitless celebrating this wonderful love in connection with all those who've gone before us, in connection, most importantly, with God, the source of all love, through Jesus Christ, who loved us enough to die for us, that we may learn how to love one another. And in marriage, in our Catholic Christian tradition, the couple is asked to honor each other, sustain each other in mutual and lasting fidelity in those good times and bad times. And we pray there's more good times than bad. We pray today for them and with them, as I said at the beginning of our Mass. But I invite you also to pray for them and for all married couples every day, not just their anniversary, not just a few moments, but pray for them constantly, that they continue to find and discover God's love in a new depth each day, in each morning, to allow themselves to continue to rejoice at times that may be kind of mundane or kind of simple, but also really celebrate lavishly those great moments as we heard in our first reading in the book of the prophet Isaiah, the Lord will set a great feast, a great banquet for all of us, the best of meats and the best of wines and the best of foods. But the best part of that banquet is that we're coming into the Lord's presence, that we're sharing God's love, not just for an hour or so in church, but for eternity. Today, Daniela and John mark that in a very special way. Coming together now into this church as two very beautiful, wonderful people in love with each other, but leaving their church united in Christ, united in God, to continue to live their lives in support of the other person, making the sacrifices when necessary, saying the I'm sorry's and the thank you's and all those things that go into strengthening good relationships to keep them going stronger and stronger each day. So we rejoice that we can be together. We rejoice that we can come and celebrate the love that God has given them, the love they were lucky enough to find, the love that today and every day forward grows deeper and deeper with more and more meaning and more and more purpose. So if you're ready, please stand. I invite the best man and best man, maid of honor, to also please come forward. We're doing this? Huh? We're doing this? Yes. Hmm? <laughs> You're so hot. Can you keep you feel beautiful? Dearly beloved, we have come together in the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses this love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life 
And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. So John and Daniela, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow a path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, I invite you to turn and face each other, join your right hands, and declare your consent before God and his church. I, John, take you, Daniela. I, John, take you, Daniela. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Daniela, take you, John. I, Daniela, take you, John. To be my husband. Be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Daniela, receive this ring. Daniela, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Lord. John, receive this ring. This ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And John, you may kiss your bride. Me and the bitch. Oh, please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, let us accompany this new family with our prayers, that the mutual love of this couple may grow daily, and that God in his kindness will sustain all families throughout the world. To the following, please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Daniela and John, and for their well-being as a family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For young people preparing to enter marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state in life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all families throughout the world, and for lasting peace among all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the members of our families who have passed from this world, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
for the church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, who are present in our midst, as Daniela and John seal their union, accept our prayer and fill us with your spirit, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. You're perfect. You are perfect. Don't lie. <laughs> pretty good on. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony with an unbreakable bond of peace so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, the rebirth and baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels, and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end be acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And please kneel for our Eucharistic prayer.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed Peter and all the apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Strengthen, we pray, in the grace of marriage, Daniela and John, whom you have brought happily to their wedding day that under your protection they may always be faithful in their lives to the covenant they have sealed in your presence. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. By divine teaching, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on these his servants, now married in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and make of one heart in love by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood 
those he has joined by a holy covenant. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two, but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man in the companionship they had from the beginning is endowed with one blessing, not forfeited by original sin nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these, your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide with your daughter, Daniela, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises were sung in the scriptures. May her husband, John, entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed and the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Sugar, are you okay? No, you're good, you're good. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So this afternoon for the distribution of Holy Communion, first I invite... Um, one of the maids of honor to come forward and kind of just pull Daniela's dress up so it's not in the aisle right now. <laughs> Get a kind of, some people are stepping out on their way up to communion. Uh, and also, I invite you to come up. You'll be wearing your mask. I'll be wearing a mask. I'll say the body of Christ. I'll put the host in your hand. You step to the side. Carefully remove your mask. Carefully consume the host. Put your mask back on. And then please return to your pew by the side aisle. Those of you who are joining us from other faith traditions, if you'd like to come forward for blessing, just cross your arms in front of you. I'd be happy to give you a blessing. Or you can remain seated in your pew, offer a prayer for this happy couple in your faith tradition.
Christ. Please stand. And let's pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your favor what in your providence you have instituted, so as to make of one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union and replenish with the one bread and the one chalice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Daniela, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, 
so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. And the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Their new life together has just begun. We congratulate Mr. and Mrs. John Ferentino. You're mine now, that's what. <laughs>